Hey y'all, Dollar Bill here again. I have this uh, rocket stove that I was going to try to convert and put underneath my gas grill. I've seen it done before. Um, everybody does it. Uh, it's not hard to do. Uh, I tried it with a small stove first. Um, made that up quick uh, because my bigger stove worked really well on its own. Um, I was just going to leave it out of the loop and uh, was going to just put a smaller one in thinking it'll do the job. Well, it wouldn't do the job. I had to feed it every two minutes and it was just a pain in the butt. So what I did is we all take this bigger one and put the hole inside the grill uh, closely burn out again. And I said that's enough of that. It's a charcoal grill and a, a gas grill. Well, co combination. Well, this is going to be a rocket stove get, uh, charcoal grill combination. Uh, I cut a bigger hole in it and uh, I've got a piece of Luan for right now. I'm going to put steel under there. I mounted underneath on, on that rack. It's got to come up about four and a half inches. And uh, when I do that, it'll bring it up high enough where it'll be up inside here about two inches. And I have this big plate, a, a grill plate, and it's cast steel. And it'll cover a good portion of this to keep the direct flames from going right onto the food. It'll deflect it and uh, with, uh, with the temperature gauge I have on it, it should, uh, I should be able to regulate it, I'm hoping. That's going to be the problem with this, uh, is being able to regulate the heat. If I can regulate the heat and keep it around three to 400 degrees, man, I can cook roast butts on here. I can, you know, cook half of the day long with just sticks from my yard, you know? Um, or split two by fours, whatever, run it two by fours, whatever it takes. Uh, but that's my plan. I've got it cut out. I'm gonna install this piece of Luan underneath of it to get it up to where it belongs. I'm gonna fire it up, put that that plate in there, and test it out. It'll give me a whole new look on my grill um, that I'll be able to use it where otherwise I wouldn't. So this is part one. Uh, stay tuned for part two after I get the whole project finished. Good night.